Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, Frank Warren has weighed in on the situation between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury and the breakdown between those two. So, there is that that we can go into. Also, Devin Haney versus Linares and Nanito Donaire becoming a world champion once again. Now, he was wrote off after losses to the likes of Frampton and Nui, yet at 38, he is world champion once again, so that is incredible as well. And obviously the performance from Devin Haney, that was an interesting kind of performance. He was tested, his chin was tested. In those final moments though, you would wonder what would happen if something like that occurred at the beginning of the round. That would be quite difficult. I mean, at the end, he was holding on for dear life towards the end of that contest. So not an easy fight for Devin Haney, but one that he needed. And that is the clear thing with especially Eddie Hearn's fighters. He does like to push them into that position because let's be real, he is considered a world champion. So these are the type of opponents he must be facing now if he is to be considered as a legitimate world champion. So that was an interesting one. Now, Frank Warren has spoke about AJ versus Fury and he said that the confidentiality thing was broken by Eddie Hearn. He continuously spoke in the media and he said that rules were broken on his side as well, accepting some of the blame. Now, it wasn't necessarily down to confidentiality. It was down to the situation between the arbitration. And when he talks about confidentiality, he's talking about the fact that Eddie Hearn spoke out in the media and that could have swayed the arbitration with him talking about it, about Undisputed and what was going to happen if Wilder vs Fury 3 did not happen. Now I'm not entirely convinced that that was a problem, I just think that things didn't work out and that was down to the arbitration. It was nothing more, nothing less. That could have been sorted in December according to Eddie Hearn, he said that that could have been squashed. Also John Fury said that as well. It could have been sorted, they could have cancelled the contract in December and just like that we would have Undisputed but that's not the case. Now I don't think that it's about Eddie Hearn talking out in the media because that wasn't the problem, the arbitration was and I don't think either that it in any way swayed them in their decision. The decision was going to be made and if they're going to order Tyson Fury to fight Deontay Wilder once again then they're going to do that regardless of what Eddie Hearn says, what Frank Warren says and what Bob Arum says or the fighter themselves. That's the way it goes, and I mean, it could have been sorted, but it wasn't. Anthony Joshua goes on to Usyk, and Tyson Fury goes on to Deontay Wilder, so the best thing to do is move on, and there are fights to be made. AJ Usyk, mandatory, and they have spoken about perhaps giving up some belts, they're not going to give up the belts, I don't think they will, and I don't think they're going to fight anyone else other than Alexander Usyk. A deal will be agreed very soon. Fury Wilder, those are the fights we have. The interesting thing we can speculate about is who might Dillian White fight next? Who might Andy Ruiz fight next? That could be quite interesting. So those are the conversations that can be had, especially for Eddie Hearn. Who do they get Dillian White? Because I don't think we will see the rematch between White and Anthony Joshua just yet. That is not going to happen. I fully expect AJ to be fighting Usyk in his next fight. Now, the situation with Linares and Devin Haney. Good fight, entertaining matchup. But there were some sticky moments. Ryan Garcia and Teofimo Lopez were obviously watching that bout and they were seeing what Devin Haney has. And obviously they think that both of them would be capable of beating Devin Haney. Now, of course it's easy to say that based off of one performance, but Lenara still has a lot left and it was a difficult fight. I think that I would rather see them fight and prove it rather than say about it. I mean, there are some great fighters, young fighters coming through in that weight class. Let's see them get in the ring together. Let's not see them talk about it. Let's see them fight and then we'll know who's number one. So that's the only thing they can do. I mean, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, that's a good fight that can be made next. Whether it is or not, that's up to them, I guess. And of course, Ryan Garcia had that opponent, but he pulled out due to issues outside of the ring, which is important that he takes that time away. But when he comes back, Devin Haney is definitely a fight that he should consider. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Pick your favourite subject and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.